everyone, I'm Kath. Welcome to Her Majesty Cooks. Today we're going to be making some meringues. I know some people are very nervous about making meringue, but we'll do it step by step with a few tips, so hopefully you'll feel a bit more confident. So let's cook! So we're just going to start with the baking tray. Uh, I've just put a few um, dots of butter on there to stop the paper snipping. So just line it with some baking paper there, like so, and pop it to one side. So I've got my bowl here. So you can use any bowl except plastic. Uh, the plastic, you can't see it obviously with the eye, but there's quite often traces of fat or grease left in the plastic so meringues do not like any trace of grease at all so you need a nice clean bowl first of all and then I've got here four egg whites so we'll pop them straight in so they need to be as fresh as possible and this we have our sugar here which generally it's 50 grams per egg white and here I have golden caster sugar which gives a lovely pale colour to the meringue you can use ordinary caster sugar if you don't have this one but this just gives it a, a little bit of a different almost caramelised flavour as well so to start off with we're going to whisk our egg whites so I just start to foam that and it will gradually, the volume would gradually increase and you'll just start to get peaks so keep going until you just get some peaks on the end of your okay so when it's that sort of stage you can start putting in your sugar but do it about a tablespoon at a time so just and then just whisk in between each addition but you don't want to overbeat it so just You can see it is holding very nicely there so that you don't want to whisk it anymore as you'll it will collapse if you if you over whisk so this is a, a bit of a test here but if you turn the bowl upside down <laughs> it's a bit of a risky one don't put it over your head I wouldn't recommend it but it will hold so that's how you you need it <laughs> So what, I've just got two dessert spoons here and then what we want to do is just put mounds onto your sheet. I mean just do them rough. You know I, I just think if they're, if they're sort of a more or less a similar size but they can be, you know that's the beauty about meringues I think. They just look all craggy and nice when they're out of the oven as well. You'll need a couple of baking sheets actually for this amount. So if you just generally follow the rule of thumb, which is 50 grams to each egg white. Just put a little bit more on. I like these usually big ones because <laughs> I'm greedy. So you can just swirl them around. I don't think I'm going to put any more on there, so I'll do the, the other tray. 
So I'm going to put them in the oven now. Um, this I've, I've got some more on a tray. I've made six altogether, six large ones. So you could make sort of eight smaller ones if you wish. So this will go into a 120 fan oven or 140 conventional for an hour and a half. And then immediately turn off the oven and just leave them, the oven to go cold while they're still in the oven. So we're just going to do some cream, vanilla cream, to go with our meringues. So I've got 150ml of double cream in the bowl and just going to put in a teaspoon of vanilla essence. And whisk up the cream, but don't over whip it. So you just need to just catch it so that it's just holding its own without starting to go too sort of lumpy looking. It if if you've over whipped it, it'll just get a horrible sort of over lumpy look to it. And then that's going to go back in the fridge and wait for our meringues to cool completely. The meringues are out of the cooled oven now, so they look rather good. So I'm just going to, you can see that they're all nicely golden brown all over. I'll just break one carefully. So they're all lovely inside. So we're just going to sandwich one together now. You can either just, you know, pile cream on top and have some fruit with it, or I, I'm going to sandwich one together with a, another one, make a pair. I traditionally sort of see it. Slather on the cream. And then just get another one together like that. Looks rather naughty. And then just give it a light sprinkling of icing sugar, if you like. And that's all ready. for watching my channel Her Majesty Cooks. We're uploading new videos every week so don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm off for a cup of tea now so we'll see you soon. Bye!